Hi, my name is Steve Jones and I'm going to show you how to remove the green cast that you commonly get on images taken with ambient light in temperate waters. Now there's a few tools in Photoshop that we need to get to grips with. The first one is the channel mixer and you'll find that under the image adjustments menu, channel mixer. Now the dialog box that pops up shows you uh, your output channel which can be red, green or blue and red is the default and that's great because that's exactly the one that we want to use and then your source channels. Now the channel mixer itself is commonly used by black and white photographers uh, who want to simulate the effects of color correction filters but knowing the right settings you can also use it to simulate the effects of underwater color correction filters which is very useful for us. So first of all what I'm going to do is take the source channel red and reduce that to between 30 and 40 percent. Next of all, I'm going to increase the green channel. Now, this sounds uh, counterintuitive to increase the green percentage, but what I'm actually doing here is sending more greens to the red output channel. And as I increase it, you'll see my image turning a shade of red as my green tones are sent to the red output channel. I'm going to increase that to between 100 and 130, uh, 120 and 130%. Next of all, what I'm going to do is adjust my blue tones. Now, I'm going to aim to take the total, which you can see here, back to around about 100%. And that should nicely balance out the image. So there we go. We're at 99% there. That's close enough for this demo. And that's my channel mixing done. Now, the next thing I need to do to the image is to make adjustments to the contrast. And for this, I use the Curves tool. Now the Curves is a very powerful tool. You find it under Image Adjustments. Curves. Now I'd recommend all photographers through some of the free online tutorials get to grips with Curves. It's an extremely useful tool. But I'm going to use it in quite a simple way. I'm going to select the Black Point Selection tool. And what I'm going to do is actually allow Curves to set the uh, tonal gradients of the image uh, by me selecting the darkest point of the image that I want. So I'm going to find a suitably black area of the image and I just click on that and you see the massive boost to the contrast of the image there just as I clicked on that. Now what you can do if you wish to experiment is also select the midpoint and even the white point uh, selection tools which will render different effects on your images. But uh, as far as this image is concerned, I'm already happy with what the Curves tool has done. So I click OK there. And that's my color adjustments done, and I've removed the green cast. Now, if we have a look at where we started, that's how the original image looked, which was a TIFF file created from the original RAW file without any adjustments. And after my channel mixer and curves, that's how the image looks. You can see there's a massive difference there. Now what I would say also is the final steps in image preparation are of course to apply a sharpening layer. Raw files are not sharpened. Uh, so for that you should either use the Smart Sharpen tool or the Unsharp Mask. And uh, again you can find plenty of online tutorials to uh, teach you how to sharpen both for web use and for printing use. And also what I would say is any adjustments to be done in Photoshop, you should ideally use layers, adjustment layers. Again, that's beyond the scope of this uh, mini tutorial, so I'd recommend you also learn how to deal with layers. That's all for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned something from it. Thank you very much.